Well, it's a big hello for me because we've got a big beer. We're off to one of my favourite breweries and a brewery which has been pretty much a staple to this channel over the years. We're off to Durham Brewery and we've got a double IPA from them. And we've got a bottle of their Alabaster double IPA clocking at 7.2% ABV. This was purchased from the brilliant Bear and Bottle in Coxo. There you go. It says, um, formerly known as White Stout. So this used to be the White Stout. Now, the White Stout I've reviewed on this channel, and I love it. I love it. And <laughs> I did not know this was a formerly known as White Stout. Now, White Stout was an old terminology. Stout was an old terminology for strong beer. And I was introduced to it by the late, great Terry Kay of Beer Goggles Reviews. Um, go and watch him. Absolute legend. So we have, uh, what's it says? Tweet the recipe, I said. Increase the hop hit. The new take on the classic Durham uh, beer deserved a new name. Alabaster, strong and pale. Large amounts of uh, US Columbus hops. Over a full power malt, aromas of citrus, black pepper, high bitterness, balanced by full and rich malt body. Yeah, big fan of the white stout. I never ever knew this was the white stout when I picked it up. Um, it's bottle conditioned. Um, 7.2% ABV. You know, Durham Brewery are proper brewery. They're a proper old school traditional brewery, which do proper old school strong beers and I like strong beers I love them so let's crack it open shall we I'm really looking forward to this now uh, we have got it's coming up it's coming up it's coming up it's coming up it's a bit of smoke let's just pour it out nice and slowly JB no mucking about with this one mate and see there we go yeah, so a stout, the terminology, you know, it wasn't really in the beginning for a black beer. It was a strong beer, a robust beer, a stout, a stout of a beer. So there you go. We'll stick it there. Um, as you can see, there's the crown there. And as you can see on the inside of the crown, there's a load of gunk. So there you go. So stick it there. As you can see, it I don't know if it's me. It most probably is. It looks slightly darker than the original white stout to me. It certainly does. Loads of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Straw. Grassy. Lemon. You get the essence of the alcohol. It smells gorgeous. I'm going to go in, and this is going to plop all over this beard, I'll tell you now. So cheers, everybody. Yeah, the stouty elements, the strong elements in this beer are apparent soon as you drink it you get the strength but the strength is not a burning strength you just get the body of the beer the, the power the power the, the strength of the beer is in that body as soon as you drink it it's going again Get through what I say is a brick wall of strength, of flexing its muscles. Then you start to pick, pick up some nice hoppy notes. Um, you get hint of lemon bitterness there. 
slight dark fruitness there for me in a marmalade gooseberry that type of thing going on a bready note going on towards the back end but it's making me think this because this beer they labeled it as a white stout white stouts i'm a big fan of you know because it goes back to the beginning you know the term stout now they relabeled this i just thought a double ipa I mean, I'm sorry, Durham, but a double IPA is not a white stout, and a white stout is not a double IPA. Um, so the description for me is wrong on there. They should have called it Alabaster White Stout underneath. If it's, as I say, a take on their white stout. Durham were one of the very few breweries which produce white stouts. Um, I can only think of a couple I've done over the years of a white stout. So it's a little bit, mis you know, because I was expecting a double IPA. I didn't read the blurb. I just picked it up because I'm a fan of the brewery. Um, gave it the pool in the bear and bottle. I just had that one. Um, I didn't even think of what it was originally. So, getting back to the beer, so I'm waffling on, like you do. Mouthfeel is smooth. But you get the, you know, you get that strength. Go on again. Lovely biscuitiness there. Breadiness grassiness it's like bitter stroke sweetness there because it's a bit of a contradiction in terms and you get hints of lemon hint of lime as well there's a lot going on gooseberry dark side dark fruitness there to it there's a lot going on to it but i have to say it's a cracking beer it's a it's a banger Again, again. My friends, my friends, people, subjects, <laughs> my friends, I'm going to enjoy this now. Um, sit back and enjoy it because it's one of them beers just to sit back, relax, enjoy. Um, Durham Alabaster White Stout, uh, not double IPA, because there's no that, that double IPA description. If you compare that to the modern day craft brewing of double IPAs, it's nowhere nowhere near them. Totally different ball game. This Alabaster, highly recommend it. Cracking brewery Durham, go out there, order some, support them, because all these breweries. They need all your support out there, boys and girls. Thank you very much for watching this one. See all of you again on another brilliant beer review from a not-so-brilliant reviewer. Bib-bib.